know, I, the way that I grew up throughout my 20s, I dated like any other woman would. Um, but, you know, even in that sense, just being in the public eye, I was criticized for whoever I dated or whoever they thought I dated or whatever they thought I was doing. Or if they read something in the blogs that would be a half story or just completely false, I would always kind of get, get judged labeled for this as stuff. something. Oh, for sure. And so I, my 20s actually prepared me for my 30s mm -hmm. because had I not experienced everything I experienced in my 20s and dealing with all of the kind of like, you know, things that people would say, and there'd be like a thousand nice things, and there'd be ten really nasty things. And those ten things oh, just but kill those you. The... And it just, it kill totally you. just breaks your heart. Yeah. And, and then it makes you feel like, wow, is that what everybody thinks? And then, you know, through my 20s, I struggled with having a chip on my shoulder, being angry, feeling misunderstood, feeling judged, feeling like people couldn't see my heart. And so a lot of the ways that I carried myself in my 20s was indicative of, the, of that feeling, you know? But then when I got into my 30s and I realized, wow, everything that I'm doing is not really helping. It's actually making it worse. Um, and so I made a decision to just do something completely different. Um, and when I did that, everything in my life started changing. I just had more self-control, had some more self-respect. I already was overconfident and respected myself, but I found respect that I didn't even know that I needed. That's what's up. This is Chris Lamar. Like and subscribe. This was a um a clip from an, a video that Begging Good did, um from Hollywood Unlocked. So I just wanted to really talk about that. Obviously, you know she's recently divorced. Her husband filed for divorce, and I think you know it's you know it's, it's definitely tough, you know going through that. But I think that you know you know the the windshield is bigger than the rearview mirror, and that you know sometimes a setback is a setup for a comeback. And I think with her, um, she's a beautiful girl. She's a, a token girl, and I think that you know she probably um, felt maybe in her twenties that oh why well, can't I can't necessarily get that 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 commitment that I'm looking for. And I think that other you know YouTubers talked about it. I think that like when she met Donovan, um, she or Devon. Um, she was healing and wanted to heal through um, that that relationship necessarily, and then maybe in her thirties, she she found fulfillment, you know, doing something completely different than necessarily how she lived before, and then maybe when she got to be forty. You know, people change and what they want change. And maybe she felt like she was in a cocoon and, you know, she felt like she wasn't necessarily free to express herself in the art and maybe to take roles that she may have wanted to take. So it's kind of interesting, the fact that she drops a, a, a new show, Harlem, on Amazon Prime, which is which is dope. It's super dope. Um, definitely check it out. But like now he's kind of like filing for divorce at that point. You know, maybe they, they just was talking it out and maybe trying to work it out in the, the straw that broke the camel's back. But, you know, hopefully, you know, Megan Good finds finds happiness, you know, out there. You know, I'm single, Megan's single. So, you know, I'm definitely going to shoot my shot. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't necessarily a cougar dude, but obviously, you know, sometimes you got to make exceptions. But on a, on a serious note. And I think that one of the reasons that they got divorced, I think the religion had to play a big part of it. I think that maybe she kind of felt like, you know, she was essentially the preacher's wife. You know what I'm saying? Maybe she had to be a little bit more conservative than um, she wanted to be. And maybe she kind of got to the point where she felt that she wasn't able to express, you know, her thoughts, her her opinions. You know, maybe she, she felt really restricted um, in this, this projection of who she needs to be, you know, um, or... What he wanted his his thoughts of what a wife should be and what she should do and whatnot, you know. So I think that you know she's definitely going to be in a happier pace. And then a lot of people there was some rumors, you know, based off of her not being out with him and stuff like that. But it's it's definitely official to kind of see. And I, it's tough, you know, in a black community not seeing necessarily black love, you know, triumph. I think that you know a foundation of any relationship is going to be respect and. um Maybe, you know what I'm saying, she didn't feel necessarily respect. And it's tough. I feel like, you know, with both people, um, guys need to be supportive of a woman's career. But, you know, because it was funny because he filed for divorce. You know what I'm saying? So I would, you know, be interested to do a follow up to this video if she talks about, you know, what necessarily happened and stuff like that. If she was, you know, like 
wanted to stay and wanted to kind of work it out. You know what I'm saying? I think she definitely she felt like happy, you know, in her 30s in that necessary relationship. You know, I kind of looked at them as a power couple, even though they wasn't like the Will and Jada, or the Obama and uh, Michelle or the, you know, the Jay-Z and Beyonce or the Russell Wilson and um, Sierra. I think that, you know, as black people, we idolize these um celebrities and they're just like you know like us and stuff like that and like you know that marriage is, is super hard it's been a long-term relationship but when I, I i thought that they looked good together but i can also see you know what i think was some of the issues because obviously he had major issues with her for whatever reason um and for him to file for divorce and just kind of be done with it you know what i'm saying that was still shocking that they couldn't necessarily work it out but you know i won't make this video too long thanks for watching um hit the like button and subscribe you know shit got spicy